As our founders knew, this precious liberty is endowed not by government, but by our Creator. And we believe that it belongs not just to the American people, but to all people. And America has always and will always lead the world by our example. Millions of people of all faiths are suffering every day. But the Trump administration will not be silent. Together, an alliance of government, civil society, and faith, we can and will advance religious freedom. We Falun Gong are facing severe persecution, and there are actual reports of organ harvesting where they kill them and they take their organs for sale. It's Tibetan Buddhists, it's Uyghur Muslims, Christian house church leaders, Falun Gong. There's a whole series, and this has been going on for some period of time. What we're trying to do is get that international coalition pulling together to push on the Chinese government. To In 1999, Ambassador Brownback's predecessor designated the following countries for their denial of religious freedom. Burma, China, Iran, Iraq, and Sudan. The Taliban, a non-state group, was also designated. Denial of religious freedom is so destructive because it represents the state elevating itself above the divine. Denial of religious freedom is the ultimate authoritarianism. In the long history of this nation, religious freedom has been our first freedom. In America, we prove every day that religious freedom buttresses all other rights. As President Trump has said on many occasions, the United States of America is a nation of faith. And religious freedom is a top priority of this administration. And as history has shown too many times, those who deny religious freedom for their own people have no qualms trampling upon the rights of other people, undermining security and peace across the wider world. The State Department's annual International Religious Freedom Report has labeled China as a religious freedom violator every year since 1999. There needs to be a much more aggressive utilization of the Magnitsky Act. We have a tool that holds individual oppressors in dictatorships like China to account. You're torturers, you repress, you can't come here, and you can't do business here. We're going to push the issue hard uh, regarding what's happening to the Uyghurs, uh, what's happening to the Tibetan Buddhist, uh, Christians, Falun Gong. Uh, there are multiple sets of groups in China that don't experience religious freedom. 作为遭受中共迫害最严重的信仰团体之一，法轮功学员也受邀参加了这次会议。辽宁法轮功学员池丽华和女儿徐新阳在中共信仰迫害研讨会上，讲述了丈夫徐大为坚持信仰被中共残酷迫害致死的遭遇。希望美国政府哈能更加关注我们法轮功这些迫害的群体，因为在中国像我这样是被迫害的家和流氓妻离子散这样家庭很多，我不想看到。更多的孩子失去父母，成为孤儿。